This video is about mApply, which allows us to use the apply functionality in R for functions that take multiple arguments. And so let's modify our estMass function again to look a bit more like one we've built before that takes vegetation type as another argument to help the function determine how to uh, fit or estimate the mass. And so we're going to modify our estMass function to also take a veg type input. And now instead of this greater than sign, we're going to do what we did before, which is we're going to say we'll use this equation if the vegetation type is equal to tree, because this is the equation that we have for tree. Uh, and for now, we'll just assume we don't have equations for anything else. And so if the vegetation type is something other than tree, we'll set the estimated mass to Na. And so then in addition to our volumes vector, let me go ahead and get rid of these here, we'll also want a vegetation type vector. And we'll make this a vector where the first object is a shrub, the second uh, one is a tree, and the third is a tree. Okay. And so now if we were just using apply and we had uh, this function with two arguments and they were stored in two vectors, we wouldn't know how to do that using s apply or l apply, but we can do it uh, with m apply instead. And the M in M apply stands for multiple in terms of its inputs. And the function looks like this. So it's M apply. The first argument, and this is actually backwards of the other apply functions. So I'm going to go ahead and name these to be clear. The function is actually the first argument here. And so we'll say fun, that's the name of the argument, and it's est mass. And the reason that function is the first argument now is because now we can supply multiple additional arguments, one for each input that's going into the function. And so here, our first function input is the volume, and the second is the veg type. And so here we'll say volume is equal to volumes. So this is the name of our vector in the outer program, and this is the name of the argument in the function. And then we'll do the same thing for veg type, but they're named the same thing. So we'll say veg type is equal to veg type. And now we'll see that we get out the desired output. We've got Na for the first result because it's a shrub and so we don't calculate a mass. And then we have estimated masses for the second two results because those are both trees. And so uh, the way this works is that mApply is going to run the estMass function and it does that by taking the first value out of volumes, 1.6, and the first value out of vegetation type shrub, passing those as inputs to the estMass function, getting the result back and storing it in a vector, and then doing the same thing for the second value in volumes and the second value in veg type, storing it, the third value in volumes and the third value in veg type, and storing it and then returning that as the result. So that's how we use the apply functions when we have multiple arguments. We use the mApply function, which stands for multiple arguments or inputs. We pass the first argument now is the function that's going to be used. And then the following arguments are given the name of the argument for the function is equal to the object in the outer program 
that we want to use to get those values from. Check chicken chicken chicken. Let's see if I can knock out one more election day recording of a lesson about a class. Um, I'm sure this is going to go great.